This is Japanese Irish Highlander. Yes, it's still me. On a Saturday night here in Sanarayak, uh, Ninevitz, otherwise known as Hall Beach, otherwise known as my hangout apartment. Ha ha ha. Now, obviously, the elephant in the room question is what the heck did I do to myself? Well, I <laughs> saw that my beard and my hair were getting a bit too Wolfman Jack. Uh, mad trapper looking so I decided to buzz it all off so um, I was waiting for my clippers that I ordered up but they still haven't arrived so I borrowed some for my friend uh, thanks Craig <laughs> nice on ya um, so he um, he borrowed, let me borrow his and I decided to buzz everything out now uh, the thing is usually how I take care of my hair grooming and stuff like even down home in Nova Scotia is I would periodically just buzz everything off. Uh, usually I would just do my hair. I'd leave the beard where I, I'd have um, my friends and my kids um, help trim the beard so that it looked a little nicer. But I just decided to buzz the whole thing off this time. Um, the last time I actually was this close shaved would have been uh, back in July when I was at Fort Ann. Uh, so, I mean, that's several months ago. Um, when everything does grow, uh, like, I'm going to let everything grow back, but I'm tempted to see if I can find disposable razors at the store. Um, I might, obviously, my hair will grow back, and I might just see about growing the mustache because um, I haven't been without a beard for quite some time except for reenactment events and it'd kind of be nice um maybe to see now the the other main reason why i've had a beard for so long is as everyone can tell i have this double chin thing happening and that's more or less because of the amount of weight that i gained since i came back to canada and in particular since i was in um security work because um, except for the time when I was working at the airport and I was walking um, 25,000 steps a day, like I was walking about 12 kilometers, um, I dropped a lot of weight then. And then, of course, um, I got the position in the city and I wasn't able to exercise as much. Um, my last posting when I was at um, CFB Halifax, I was able to um, get... A good amount of exercise in so that was good but i figured i'm going to see what i can do uh now i've been talking with the the locals up here and they said that yes that in fact in coming into march which is what we're coming into the weather does progressively get warmer what that means i really hope is that we're going to stop having uh minus 40 degree temperatures with wind chills of still down to minus 50, minus 60, which is what it has been. And well, you, you just get used to it. So um, that in is another thing that people are going to look at me and say, uh, like, don't you think maybe you should have kept the beard on? And I'm like, well, I'm like, I got balaclavas. I got some scarves. Uh, the other thing I was able to uh, procure... Uh, sending up is I actually got some ski goggles and for the first time in several weeks walking to school did not mean that I had to almost cover my eyes while walking because there was one morning where my eyelashes actually froze um, almost together which meant that I was basically squinting when I was walking because I could hardly see until I got back in a building where there was heat and <laughs> magically they they <laughs> Luckily, they didn't rip apart, but I mean, it was like, hmm, interesting. Um, so, yeah, having the goggles on means that my eyes are protected. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I've gotten, I put up on my Facebook posting um, my pictures of me doing this compared to a picture I took uh, Friday afternoon, I suppose the Friday evening, because <laughs> I just did this um, yesterday. And... Uh, no one in my school or any of the people I work with, except for a few people I've seen, I've sent pictures to. So it, it will be interesting when I walk in uh, because, of course, I'll be covered up like I almost look like Han Solo on, on uh, what, Hoth. 
um, going out trying to find Luke Skywalker, right? I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm pretty much bundled up, right? But anyway, um, also I decided to shoot this video a little later in the day. Um, it's been a nice cozy um, Saturday. I was just reminiscing with a friend of mine uh, and we were talking about stuff and uh, he was asking me what I was doing and I said, well, you know, I've been watching movies and listening to music and I was playing a war game today. And I just realized that the first time that the two of us met was the second year I was at St. Mary's. It was his first. And that was 1993, which means that, et voila, that's 30 years ago. And I'm like, I keep catching myself recently. Like, yeah, I can't keep thinking that the 1990s are uh, just a couple of years ago. That's actually a bit of time now that, that's gone and passed. Now, the other thing... Uh, luckily, I was also talking to my, uh, one of my best friends, uh, Keith Blackmore, which I'm wearing his uh, Mountain Man t-shirt again. And I have a funny story on that because uh, there was someone on uh, Facebook uh, that was commenting on something on uh, Keith's uh, page that he has up for his books. And I said, yeah, I said, yep, yeah, nope. Really enjoyed his uh, his novels and stuff, and I also have his T-shirt. To which one of his other fans said, "Oh my God! Like you have his T-shirt? That's so cool!" And I said, "Well, yeah, he's my one of my best friends. <laughs> kind of cool." <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also, I should mention uh, I have been fighting off a cold, and I actually got to go to the clinic, and that was another funny thing because of the day that I was in the clinic. The EMT nurse was from Truro. The policeman that came in with uh, my buddy Craig is originally from New Glasgow. Uh, Craig's from Anakin uh, We had another nurse in there from Bridgewater and myself from uh, Suyak Dutch Settlement area. So I was like, yeah, it's like Nova Scotians were taking over again. And it's, just, it's really interesting how many Maritimers are up in here doing work in the north either working for uh, the government helping with stuff or working in one of the service industries either the stores or uh, the health clinic so it's very nice that they actually came up the the thing that i appreciate is that when you do go into the clinic um, they will take the time to talk with you make sure everything's fine and that's understandable because in a community where there's only maybe about a thousand of us here, it's much easier for the healthcare staff to help you with your, you know, seeing you. Uh, because right now, uh, I just heard that the provincial premier of Nova Scotia is, um, <coughs> excuse me, hoping to um, make the population of Nova Scotia close to three million. I'm like. Yeah, they got to invest in some major housing down there. So by the time I finish up up here and go home, uh, Nova Scotia might have uh, some big changes and stuff. <coughs> anyway, um, so seeing as I'm starting to get a dry throat and everything, I may um, finish off my update for the week. But um, everything's still fine. I'm happy, happy, joy, joy, and, you know, eventually going to be able to dance in the pexy dusts again you know that little saying i like saying with people but uh just for happiness and all that stuff i keep my i have my nice um christmas lights still up because i really do like having the lights like this and it's not just festive it's just it, it gives a bit more color because yeah uh, I've talked about this yellow wall before, but I'm like, you know, whatever. So, everybody, have a good one. Hope you're all staying warm and that the winter is still not treating you guys too badly down south.